Giovanni Battista Piranesi was an Italian architectural artist who lived during the 18th century. While he has many published engravings and etchings depicting Rome and other buildings of the ancient world, he is also famous for 16 works that depict prisons. He was born in Venice in 1720 and died in Rome in 1778. He was the son of a stonemason and master builder. He was the nephew of an architect and engineer. After moving to Rome at the age of 20, Piranesi established professional links with the artist Giovanni Paolo Panini and the architect and surveyor Gambattista Noli. After a few visits to Venice in the 1740s, during which he met the influential painter and etcher Gambibista Tipolo, he permanently settled in Rome. First appearing in the 1740s, Piranesi's Vedute de Roma, The Views of Rome, was a series of 135 prints published over the course of more than 30 years, revolutionized the way in which both ancient monuments and modern cityscapes of Rome were depicted. In his first views, the monuments or subject was drawn from a distance so that it was clearly set in its context. The first 34 views were published in a single volume and entitled Le Magnificence de Roma, and he continued to create plates for this series until he died in 1778. Piranesi's Vedute, which overshadowed competitors' views of Roman landmarks through compelling composition, strong lighting contrasts, and dramatic presentation, shaped European conceptions of present-day Rome. Produced with the tourist market in mind, these iconic images of exaggeratedly scaled buildings remain important documents of the mid-18th century Roman urban landscape. Piranesi was able to focus in on his awareness of what was noble and magnificent and gain a sense for the sublime in the architectural tradition of Rome. Although mainly known as a printmaker, with over 1,000 print designs produced during his 40-year career, Piranesi was also an original draftsman. Piranesi's lifelong obsession with architecture, the past, and the present was fundamental to his genius. Piranesi's interest in ruins was genuine antiquarian desire to preserve and record.
Piranesi created the series of prison interiors called Carcieri after being influenced by his upbringing in the printmaking scene in Venice. They are examples of his energetic penmanship that showcase his talent for depicting complex architectural spaces and animated human figures. Many of these figures do not look human, as if they were from a previous civilization. In his series of 14 large etchings, Piranesi used his knowledge of Roman architecture and stage design to create cavernous vaulted interiors populated by the diminutive figures, labyrinth staircases and balustrades and eerie machinery. After printing a first edition in the year 1750, Piranesi thoroughly reworked the plates for a second edition in 1761, making all the designs more ominous and adding two new compositions. They created a perception of antiquity lasting to our own time. His etched plates contain remarkable imagination and a practical understanding of ancient technology. The quote, imaginary prisons by Giovanni Battista Piranesi are in the words of Marguerite Yorsenar. I quote, one of the most secret works bequeathed us by a man of the 18th century, end quote. According to the Belgian writer, the 16 prints that the Venetian artist created between 1745 and 1750 represent the, quote, negation of time, incoherence of space, suggested levitation, intoxication of the impossible reconciled or transcended. Piranesi revolutionized the stylistic canons for the representation of prisons, an iron cage or a cell surrounded by massive bars, and expressed the deep angst that stems from seeing life as an unstoppable, eternal return of pain and evil. The quote, imaginary prisons went on to influence many romantic and surrealistic artists as well as some of his contemporaries, like Escher. The human-like figures that we see presented in Piranesi's works show figures of a larger scale, as if they were giants. Giants of a previous civilization. Piranesi's works give us a sense of an enclosed world subterranean spaces. In many of his images, there is a sense that these huge spaces are still under construction, perhaps eternally under construction. We see iron bars, 
gallow-like trusses suggest imprisonment and torture. And always a present sense of scale, like you might imagine dungeons in hell. <laughs> 